Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about a new feature that I've been messing around with and they're called uh, web notifications. So I'm just going to do a little overview showing you uh, the important, most important things to know about web notifications and how to use them in your web application. So first thing you have to know is it's one of those features that a user has to uh, explicitly enable. So in order for them to enable it, you're going to have to request permission. So I'll show you how to do that. Just do this and you'll get this little pop up right here. So the user has the option to either do it for this, this session or they can allow it all the time or they can choose to block it or just ignore it. So of course we're going to allow it and so if you want to use those you're gonna to have to do that at some point you can either choose to do it as soon as the application loads or you can do it the very first time you attempt to send one of those messages uh, so it depends on what your use case is you can do it either way so and then if you run it a second time it actually will just ignore it if the uh, property is already granted and there's an easy way to check that I'll show you if we change this, change this real quick, there's a property called permission. It's actually, well, it'll be set to granted if it's granted. So uh, there's three different settings. There's granted, there is uh, denied, and I think there's default. So, and uh, it's easy to change that. Uh, let me show you. If you go up here, actually probably the easiest way to do it Let's go up into the, well, here's the permissions right here, show notifications. And uh, that's just by clicking this little lock icon right here. And it's the same in Chrome and Firefox. Not sure about other browsers, but uh, it's probably something pretty similar. Uh, so right now it's on allow. And if we go back to block, we can check that permission. Now it's denied. And if we change that again, always ask. That's like the default. So, yeah, so now it's back to default. But, so now we got to request permission again. And let's do it all the time. And uh, now we should be able to use it. And this goes all the way back to Firefox 22 or Chrome 22 so it's uh, been supported for quite a while but you don't really see it too much I've seen it on Facebook and I've seen it in Gmail and I do use it in a project at work and it's really awesome because it's like a uh, an application to send uh, critical events and make sure and basically their messages that we want to make sure the user is seeing so uh, we don't want them to miss those notifications and make sure that they acknowledge them. So it's a really good use case to use web notifications. So we started using that and uh, it's, been a, it's been great so far. So let me show you how it works. It's pretty simple. Uh, all you gotta do is new notification and the first value is the title. So if you run that, you're going to get this little window down here in the bottom right. And I'm in Firefox right now. So in Firefox, it actually times out. And it's a little strange because every browser is a little different. Even the same browser in different operating systems, I've noticed that's different, style different. And sometimes so, and in Chrome, for example, it actually won't even time out. So like the duration is actually not a value you can even set. Like I was hoping that maybe that would be one of the properties you could set, but it's actually not, not yet. So maybe in the future you would be able to say, oh, you know, keep it there for 20 seconds or something like that, but you actually can't. Anyhow, so that's your first value. Oops, let's send that. So that's what that looks like, but you can also add in a few other values here. So the second argument is this, uh, you can pass in an object full of a few different properties. Uh, let's start with the body first of all. Um, this is the body. So if you send that, it'll say, it'll look like that. This is the body. And uh, 
you can use anything you want in there to be honest you can let's say you have some data and you want to pass in a message hello everyone uh, so you want to put um, weapon or something flaming sword of justice so then you could actually put that in here hello everyone flaming sword of justice so there you go you can see that right there pops up so that'd be handy you would basically just create a function and pass some say you wanted to pass some data and generate these notifications it would be easy to take whatever data that you wanted to display to the user and send that and then display it in the body or even the title it depends on what you're trying to do um, so let's move on to the next there's actually more properties we can add in here if you wanted to put in a special icon um, let's use he-man So let's put He-Man in there. Here we go. So now we got a. What kind of sword is that? That's the. It's like a gleaming holy sword. I don't know what that is. Uh, but that's what you got now. So now you got an icon in there. You can put pretty much anything in there. A GIF, an animated GIF won't work. I tried. I thought that would be pretty awesome. And. Uh, Look at all these messages. You can actually make a lot of messages if you wanted to, which could get pretty annoying. Look at them go. So um, that can become a pretty annoying feature. So, you know, obviously you don't want to be too obnoxious with it. Be careful how often and how much you're using it. Are you going to drive them nuts? Now, I could see a case where um, you may not be able to control how many messages are coming in due to what's going on in your application. But what you can do is you can use this uh, attribute, this property called tag, and then you could just call it like never grind. And that way, it's like an ID for the tag, uh, an ID for the notification. That way, if it has the same tag, it'll just replace the one that's already there. That way, you can avoid your, uh, prevent your website from sending too many of the same kind of message. So, say if you wanted to have, you know, you know, say never grind weapon alert or something. You, know, you could do something like that, and then you could also have a you know, chat alert or something like that. So you could have two different ones. You could limit it using the tag and just being clever with that. And you could even, of course, pass it in as a data attribute uh, property rather. So it's pretty flexible. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do with it, and uh, thankfully, there's also events um, I find the most useful one is probably the on click um, so I don't know it depends on what you wanted them to do if you wanted it to just uh, focus on your application mm. or just reload the page or probably just let's just say click that I would reload the page for example What's important to mention is it's not only uh, application specific, it will also, like, let me show you, it may be easier to show you. Like, if I switch tabs and click on that, it actually forces me to focus on the application. So, that's actually the really cool thing about it because they could be somewhere else, you know, looking at some other, they could be anywhere. They could be looking at some other website, they could be looking at something doing something else on their computer and then if they click that it will force them to focus on it there's a couple other ones too like on show I haven't found these as useful here I am so if you click that you know you'll see here I am so it's showing 
And there's also on close. And I am closing now. And so you can see if you click it a bunch, it'll actually close the previous one because it's using the same tag. And uh, you could be you could use that however you want to use that. Um, I don't use it that much. I pretty much just use the on click, but uh, that's a pretty cool feature nonetheless. I'm sure it can come in handy to somebody. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, this introduction to web notifications. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. Thanks for watching.